Hey guys, welcome back to another Helix video. So I normally jump right into a tutorial or a preset or some tips and tricks on this, these videos, and I'm going to do that today as well. But one thing I've thought about is I, sometimes I think in today's age as guitar players, we, we kind of lose focus on why we started playing guitar in the first place. And what I mean by that is there are so many amazing options for guitar processors and pedals and just different ways to get sounds and tones that I think sometimes we might forget to sit down and just play the guitar, learn a new song, get together with people and jam. And instead we end up going on forums and arguing about which brand's AC30 model sounds the best or the best way to get this tone or things like that. And those are fun things. I do it. I, I do like to sit and tweak and find new sounds and I can completely get lost in that and spend hours. I'm, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I am saying though, that at some point we, we have to stop and go, why are we doing this? If, if I want to get the perfect, you know, name an artist, the perfect edge tone, the perfect slash tone for Van Halen, tone, whatever it is, why? At the end of the day, if I get that perfect tone, what am I going to do with it? And it all comes down to, it should be to play music and have fun. So what I want to do in this video is show you some, hopefully some tips and tricks you can em employ yourself to just quickly get to a tone that you like, that will get you playing faster, where you're not going to sit for an hour or two hours tweaking away until you get to the point that when you finally get a sound you like, you're tired and ready to go do something else. So um, hopefully this will be effective for you. These are some, some things I've found over the years that uh, have helped me avoid the pitfalls of uh, not tweaking endlessly, which I do. So um, anyway, I hope this is all going to be helpful to you. Let's jump into HX Edit and take a look. Okay, so here we are in HX Edit, and I've got this template preset built. And as I go through it, I'm going to talk through kind of three points that I think about when I'm doing a, building a preset and doing things like this. Um, the kind of things that I've learned through the years that have helped save me a lot of time. So number one is have a goal. Um, what I mean by that is what, what kind of tone are you going for? If you just sit down and say, I, I want to build a preset that has a good tone, a good sound, that could mean a million different things. So in this hypothetical example, um, my goal is, let's say I'm going to be playing in a, uh, a rock band, rock blues cover band. So I'm going to need an amp a distortion pedal, a delay pedal, some reverb, a wah. Those are the things I know I'm going to need. So, you know, I'm not going to choose amp wise, you know, I'm going to choose something that fits. I'm not going to choose, you know, you know, a roll in jazz chorus. Um, probably not going to choose, you know, a, a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier or a diesel because I'm wanting to do more rock blues, not heavy rock, heavy metal. So, you know, now, because of that, I was able to just go, all right, I'm going to go with the litigator. Now, if anyone has, is watching this, has watched any of my other videos, that this is my go-to amp model. I've used this 99% of the time. Having said that, there are several other amp models in Helix. I could easily switch out for this and be just as happy. But I know this is a tool that will get the job done. It's going to get me those, those tones I'm looking for. So, Again, doing the, and this actually brings me into my second point is don't go down the rabbit hole. Don't be Alice. Don't, you know, um, there's a lot of, of options, whether it be the amp list, the drive pedals, the delays, the cabs, IRs, if you get into impulse responses. Um, and keeping with the first point of having a goal, you know, with the second point being, you know, don't go down the rabbit hole. Recognize when you've got a sound that gets you what you want to accomplish. Um, if you, I, I notice when I listen back to, to songs that I've listened to for years and love, and I listen really closely to the guitar tones they get, a lot of times I, I think that's not perfect. Like that's, that's not the best guitar tone I've ever heard, you know, but in our minds, I think we, we fill in the blanks and sometimes romanticize that, that our favorite artist has the perfect tone and that's really not the case. So, you know, I think, it's important to know what sound I want to get and recognize when I'm, I'm there. You know, I don't, I hate to use the word like good enough, but like, okay, I'm there. That's the sound I want. I'm not going to, you know, search through a hundred IRs to try to get that 3% better sound, you know, that sort of thing. And the, the last, the third point um, really is to try to find your sound. And by that, I don't necessarily mean, you know, um, 
in a cocky way of like, this is my tone. I own this tone. This is, you know, people hear the sound, they think me it's, it's more like find the sound that you like. Cause I think we all gravitate towards a certain tone of how, you know, the guitar should sound, uh, you know, of course for specific genres, not for everything, but, um, you know, for me, I, over the years, I would look back at different setups I had in different bands I played in, you know, in the last 20 years um, plus, really. But whether it's modeling amps, you know, half stack Marshall tube amps, um, hybrid where I've used two power amps and a digital preamp or analog preamp, all these different things. When I would listen back to recordings and videos where I would see from, you know, bands I was in, I would, I'd it dawned on me, I finally noticed like, kind of always sound the same <laughs> and uh, part of it is how you play the guitar is going to come through your you do have a particular way you play that will kind of make your sound your setup sound like you but uh, more than that i found that there was always a certain type of sound i was going for and that is how i would dial my sound my rigs in whether it was an all tube or digital or hybrid i realized there's a sound i like and finding that out and finding out how to get that sound has literally saved me hours and hours and hours of tweaking because like in this case, the litigator gets me the sound I like and I was like, okay, there's my sound. I like it. I don't have to keep hunting and, and going down the rabbit hole again. Um, I, I just, I can stop there and then I can focus on learning the music, playing whatever it is I have to do. Um, go jam with, with friends, whatever it is. I don't have to think about the gear anymore. And that to me is a big, not only saves time on the front end, on the back end, you don't get to a show or, or a jam or a rehearsal and go, Oh shoot, eh, this doesn't really, this isn't really getting it for me. And then instead of being in the moment and playing music with other people, you're sitting there thinking, Oh yeah, if I could just sit down for 30 minutes and change this and the other thing, you know, it'd be more what I wanted. Um, again, finding your sound, takes all that out in my opinion um, or at least it has for me so th those are the like that is what has saved me so much time you know i know what i want to sound like i'm i make the choice not to go down the rabbit hole find the tools that get me there and then i've learned to recognize all right that's the sound i like um, and those have saved me a tremendous amount of time um, in my case this you know hypothetical rock band thing is actually what i pretty much do so um, this is a patch that I would build, and this is a patch that I would happily do a gig with and could probably get through a gig with just this patch. Um, again, the litigator, it's... I set it up clean, but if you like, go to the bridge pickup and hit it a little harder, you know, it's got a little bit of breakup to it. I prefer that type of sound and that type of amp model where it gives me a little bit of variety of sound based around how I'm playing, uh, how hard I'm playing, the, the pickup the guitar is on. So that's what I like, that's my sound. So the Litigator made perfect sense for this preset. I like the Timmy because it's, you know, um, for lack of a better word, I know the whole transparent overdrive thing has just been a dead, a dead horse. <laughs> but <clears throat> I like the fact that it, it pretty well leaves the amp tone intact and it just pushes it. Um, and this is one of my favorites and it gets me to that kind of Marshall plexi sound I found if I, when I hit an open D chord, it tells me if I'm there or not. I'm like, yeah, that's, that works. Yeah. And, you know, just between the amp model and the drive and bearing how I play, the you know, the pickups I'm on and where my volume knob is set on the guitar, that's going to cover pretty much the ground I need to cover. Um, you know, I did put a delay on here as well. Just I, I like uh, the Memory Man style delays. <laughs> I like the little modulation on the delay, so I don't generally spend a lot of time picking delays. I, that's the one I like. Um, you know, I put a compressor on here because I like just compression. It, it's a nice way uh, to just kind of finish your tone out after spending many hundreds and plus hours doing studio stuff and recording and mixing. 
<clears throat> I'm pretty much like there's got to be a comp- sorry there's got to be a compressor in there somewhere. Uh, but the LA Studio Comp is a pretty simple, straightforward one, not a lot of parameters. Just a basic reverb, you know, the wah pedal, volume pedal. It's it's all I would need. So um, if you want this preset, the link will be in the description below. I know there's not a lot of like helix tweaking and playing and stuff in this video, but it was more about, for me, um, kind of getting back to the roots of why are we doing this and and what do I need to get to do the thing that I wanted to do to begin with? You know, whether it was, you know, play your favorite ACDC song or, or learn your favorite Zeppelin solo or what yeah, those are old examples, whatever the kids are into these days, you know, um, finding what will, will get you to that point. So you don't waste a lot of time. And then if you have a day you want to do nothing but tweak, go for it. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but um, I just feel like when I read forums and Facebook groups and talk to players, so much of the discussion is centered around, you know, um, the gear and what sounds better and this. And it's like, guys, why did we start doing this to begin with? Let's let's do the thing. Let's play music. So that's my take on it anyway. Um, thanks for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, comment, share, all that fun stuff. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. And uh, until the next one, we'll see you.